Well, good evening and welcome to everyone to our awards ceremony for our 42nd graduating class at Trinity School for Ministry. I'm Lori Thompson, the seventh dean and president of the seminary, and I warmly welcome all who are listening and visiting along with us, as well as, of course, the class themselves. We're doing this award ceremony virtually, a first for all of us. And because of our extraordinary circumstances, we're delaying our formal commencement until next year in May, but we want this brief ceremony to celebrate the achievements of the class of 2020. This is a solemn and joyful occasion in which we recognize the significant accomplishments of many who have obtained a pivotal moment in their formation as Christian leaders who will plant renew and grow churches that make disciples of Jesus Christ. And particularly we celebrate those who have achieved certificates, diplomas, master of arts degrees, masters, masters of divinity, and doctor of ministry degrees. I thank all who made this moment possible in such unusual circumstances. First and foremost, I wanna thank the graduating seniors for their hard work, their persistence, and their growing knowledge that have brought us to this point. I wanna thank our bishops, overseers, and mentors who helped each one of us believe we could make it to this day, and especially in the moments of doubt and questioning. I thank the faculty whose gifts, time, and wisdom have brought us through lots of challenges and helped equip and shape our journey. They have commented frequently this year that we've had a very persistent and faithful group that have pressed through despite all the COVID challenges. And I thank our staff who facilitate the operations and have allowed things to run smoothly, even in the midst of our challenging journey. We're grateful for all. And we thank the friends and the donors of the school who have made the education and the formation possible and I particularly want to thank Archbishop Foley and Archbishop Duncan, Bishop Lamarckon, who have seen and overseen us so well throughout this year. And above all, I thank God for his mercy in giving us the opportunity to serve his church. So our brief time tonight, we'll continue with a prayer from our board chair, Brad Root, a brief address from our senior class president, and then academic dean Erica Moore will present our awards and we'll ask uh, Archbishop Duncan to close us with a word of prayer. Chairman Root, would you be willing to open us in prayer? Let us pray. Heavenly Father, you have gathered us into a unique community in which we have lived together side by side in classrooms, apartments, shared meals and conversations together in the Commons Hall. We have stood elbow to elbow worshiping in the chapel and playing on muddy fields. We are now separated, our community scattered, but we know you are close and that we are not abandoned. For you said where two or three are gathered in my name, there am I among them. We thank you for your unbroken promises. In a time when we cannot gather in a place of worship, Remind us that we dwell in your house. May your name continue to be glorified amongst our students, faculty, and staff at Trinity School of Ministry. I pray for a special blessing and protection for our senior class during this time. May they feel your peace surrounding them and their families. May you bring clarity and direction in the midst of decisions being made. For all honor, glory, and praise are yours now and forever, in Jesus' name. Amen. On behalf of all my colleagues of the Board of Trustees, I offer each of you and your families a mighty and sincere congratulation. You answered the call to come to Trinity, perhaps with some sacrifice and unease, hopefully sprinkled with a sense of curiosity and excitement. You became members of this great community, you served this community. You were a community. You labored, laughed, and loved. Some have begun to raise families here. 
your time as a Trinity student is complete. Your connection to the school lasts a lifetime. Next May, as Lori said, we will look forward to having you all back on campus for baccalaureate and a graduation ceremony with the class of 21. On behalf of the entire school, I offer this assurance. God willing, we are going to worship and celebrate and honor your class in a very special way. At that time, a chairman's charge will be given. Tonight, I'd just like to share with you briefly a poem called The Shepherd's Charge by Margie Clyde. The shepherd walks before his flock to lead them safely home. He guides them through the treacherous spots, retrieves them when they roam. He shields them from both wolf and thief. By name, he knows each sheep. He loves them and would give his life, his charge to safely keep. Thus, Jesus walks before his own to lead them all the way. He guides them through the storms of life and seeks them when they stray. He helps them over the rugged paths. By name, he knows them all. He gave his life on Calvary's cross that they might never fall. So go and be good shepherds. Do not be impatient with others. Remember how God dealt with you, with patience and gentleness, but never water down the truth of God. Let it have its way and never apologize for it. Jesus did not say, make converts to your own thoughts and opinions. As we know from the Gospel of Matthew, he said, go therefore and make disciples of all nations. So friends, good luck, Godspeed, and God bless. Thank you very much. Hello, graduating class of 2020. We did it. You did it. It's been quite a journey these three years, four years, one year, whatever it's taken for you to get to this spot. Congratulations and good work. One of the reasons that I came to Trinity is because of the amazing sense of community that I felt on my very first visit to campus. And I'm grateful for each and every one of you who's been part of shaping that community during my time here. I hope that you can look around this panel and see classmates, staff, and professors who you can call friends and colleagues on this continuing journey that the Lord is taking you. We had so many wonderful things planned for this week up, weekend, and one of the challenges of this pandemic is of course that it's had to be canceled. But I wanna share with you the scripture meditation that already a few months ago was intended to be at the heart of this graduation ceremony. In Joshua chapter three, the people of Israel are crossing the Jordan River into the land of promise. They are about to step into the rushing waters of the river and into the land that they have never been before. It was the land that the Lord said he had given to them. It was their land. But other than a few scouts who had traveled ahead, they had not gone this way before. As they prepared that morning to cross, Joshua traveled through the camp and gave this order to the people. When you see the Ark of the Covenant of the Lord your God and the Levitical priests carrying it, you are to move out from your positions and follow it. Then you will know the way to go, since you have never been this way before. Friends, we find ourselves on the precipice of a way we have not traveled before. Whether we are entering or continuing in full-time ministry or returning to the workforce, our season has changed and we have never gone this way before. In this current landscape of pandemic, it could hardly be shown to us more clearly. We have never gone this way before. So then, let us follow the one 
who has gone the way before us. Let us follow the one who has promised he will never leave us nor forsake us. The one who endured the cross, despising the shame for the joy set before him. The one who leads us to good green grass beside the cool, clear waters and through the valley of the shadow of death. Let us follow him into these next steps and let us rest assured that though we have never been this way before, he has. He has gone the way before us and he is always faithful. Amen. Thank you, Shannon. Greetings, Trinity School for Ministry, graduating class of 2020. Even though this isn't how any of us envisioned what this time of celebration would look like, it's still a delight to be here and celebrate with you. And before I present this year's award recipients, I'd like to announce each graduate by degree program. And when I'm finished listing all the recipients of a particular degree, feel free to unmute your mic so we can give a round of applause. The graduating class of 2020 graduating with the Master of Divinity degree, Stephen Abbott, Shannon Ames Fuller, Chip Bateson, Jessica Bennett, Josh Bennett, Bill Clarkson, Marissa Crofts, Lawrence Deal, Adam Gadomsky, Tom Hampel, Christina Hyland, Jeff Jacobs, Chris Kirkland, Vince Latz, Abigail Opal, Aaron Pilat, Taylor Rister, Greg Sparks, Landon Thomas Meyer, and David Zamora. So please unmute your mic and let's give a round of applause to this year's Master of Divinity graduates. <laughs> This year's Master of Arts in Relig Religion graduates, Isaiah Brooms, Ethan Bryan, Stephen Canizaro, Joshua Koblenz, Adeline Cook, Samson Kovach, Justin Devontier, Brian Goodwin, Preston Hansen, Ron Howes, Michael Yun, Dan Omar, Ryan Paskey, Randall Scott Phillips, Dean Simmer, Donna Steckline, Kyle Stoltzfus, and Kim Watsak. Let's give a round of applause to this year's AR. This year's Masters in Sacred Theology students are Shadrach Ower and Aaron Rowley. Yeah. <laughs> Those students graduating with the Doctor of Ministry degree, William Boyce, Anthony Clark, and Richard Crocker. Yes. yes. <laughs> and finally, those graduating with the Certificate in Advanced Pastoral Leadership, Justin Baldwin, Robert Baker, Phyllis Bartle, Rory Harris, John Heidegren, Thomas Rybar, and William Stark. <laughs> Congratulations, all graduates. And now for the presentation of our senior awards. 
The Doctor of Ministry Award is given to the student who achieved the best thesis project and in so doing contributed to colleagues in the field of pastoral leadership and ministry. This student's thesis project will be submitted to the Association for Doctor of Ministry Education, known as ADMI, for the annual competition for the top project in the United States and Canada. The Doctor of Ministry Award is presented to Billy Boyce. Good job, Billy. Great job. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you. The Senior Theology Award is given to a student who has demonstrated excellence in this field. This year, the Senior Theology Award goes to Joshua Koblenz. Baker Book Publishing House presents a current theological book to a senior who has demonstrated excellence in the field of systematic theology or biblical studies. And the Baker Book Award is given to Marissa Cross. The Greek Exegesis Award is for the graduate who has exhibited excellent work in the study of the Greek language. This award goes to Ryan Paskey. <laughs> the Hebrew Exegesis Award is for the graduate who has exhibited excellent work in the study of the Hebrew language. And this award goes to David Zamora Ramirez. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. You're welcome. The Nelson Reitmeyer Award is given to a graduating senior who has exhibited excellence in the field of church history. This year, the award goes to Kyle Stoltzfus. Thank you. You're welcome, Kyle. The Episcopal Preaching Foundation Award is bestowed upon a graduate who, in the estimation of the dean and faculty, has demonstrated the most improvement and aptitude in preaching. This award is sponsored annually by the foundation. This year's Episcopal Preaching Foundation Award goes to Marissa Crofts. <laughs> The Reverend William D. Henning was a much loved professor of pastoral theology at Trinity in the 1970s. His passion was expository preaching, and he sought to enable others to take the scriptures and make them come alive to God's people. In the early 1980s, Mike left Trinity to work at St. Stephen's Church, eventually becoming the rector. During this time, he contracted cancer and died at the age of 45. As a tribute to Mike, friends and family endowed a preaching award to be given to a middler or senior student or students for distinction in preaching. This year, the William D. Henning Preaching Award goes to two students. The first, Chip Bateson. Ooh. Thank you. And the second, David Zamora Ramirez. <laughs> the John Guest Award in Mission and Evangelism was established in 2003 with a gift from an alumna of the class of 2002. It is awarded to a graduate or graduates whose career path involves missionary and evangelistic work, either in the United States or overseas. This year's recipient of the John Guest Award in Mission Evangelism is Greg Sparks. Hey, Greg. Hey, Greg. Hey, Greg. Hey, Greg. Hey, Greg. Hey, Greg. 
Hey, Greg. <laughs> no way. <laughs> <laughs> To foster a continued culture of liturgical excellence and to honor those who have excelled in leadership in liturgical worship, the class of 2014 instituted the Liturgical Excellence Award. The award is given to a graduate or graduates who have demonstrated the knowledge of the historical liturgies of the church, excellence in leading liturgical worship, a passion for glorifying God and seeing the transformation of God's people through liturgical worship, and who intends to continue to lead the church in liturgical worship through ordained ministry. This year, the Liturgical Excellence Award goes to Marissa Cross. And then finally, the Campus Leadership Award was established in 2004 by the very Reverend Dr. Peter Moore. This award is given in recognition of the graduate whose contributions to Trinity's community life were recognizable, superior, and commendable. This award is intended to convey the admiration and thanks of a grateful community. This year, the Campus Leadership Award goes to Shannon Ames Fuller. Yeah. Congratulations, award recipients. Now, on behalf of the faculty, I'd like to present to the graduates the following video. It's a compilation of greetings to you, graduating seniors from your faculty. And I want to give a special thanks to Amanda Wicker for putting it all together. So please sit back and accept these greetings from your faculty. And when the video presentation is over, we've asked Bishop Duncan to close us in prayer. Greetings class of 2020. As we finish this extraordinary semester in extraordinary times, you've been a graduating class like no other, in a seminary like no other, in a time like no other. Thank you for your faithfulness and your service to this community as you've learned and been formed as leaders. May God bless you as you go forth planting, renewing, and making disciples of Jesus Christ in the churches and in the ministries to which God calls you. Thank you for being with us. We love you and we will continue to pray for you. You've been like my favorite servant, Trophimus, who when he saw chaos, embraced the chaos of Ephesus and turned it into opportunity. May God do so with your ministry. God bless. Class of 2020, I'm sorry that we're not going to be able to celebrate your graduation in the time-honored fashion, though I hope that many of you will come back in 2021 for belated celebration. As we go forward in uncertain times, it's good to remember that our Lord didn't call us to his service because we were strong and smart and able to master uncertain times. He called us to display his glory in us. And he's promised that those who abide in him and he in them will bear good fruit. So go forward confident in his promise. Abide in him, cling to his word and his sacraments. And I pray for you and for all your loved ones fruitful ministries, fruitful lives, and all joy. Hello there, graduating class of May 2020. I'm sending you greetings in this difficult time, but wishing you well and hoping that I will see some of you at the uh, graduation ceremony next year. But for those of you that won't be able to come, I'd also like to send my greetings. I wish we could meet in a better time than this, but. I would like to just say one thing about the new normal that's out there. I don't know what the new normal will be. Don't know what most of you will find in the future as you leave Trinity. Will it be the same as, it, as it's been? Probably not. Will it be radically different than it's been? Yeah, probably not, but the truth is, I really don't know. <laughs> uh, but I do know one thing, uh, Christ by his death and resurrection has established a new creation 
And for me, that's the new normal. And that's also the new normal and the reality that all of you called to preach and to minister and to teach will be living out of. So I leave you with that hope and that blessing, uh, the knowledge of new creation in Jesus Christ. And if I don't see some of you next year, hopefully I'll see you before you leave. Best wishes on your graduation this year in May 2020. Graduating seniors, I uh, want to wish you well. So sorry that we're all going through this and that we can't do our normal graduation thing. I desperately want to put on all the fancy garbs, walk down the aisle at St. Stephen's Church, worship the Lord with you all, and see you all get your diplomas. None of us planned this, but I'm reminded uh, at a time like this of God's word to Jeremiah and his call. Before I formed you in the womb, I knew you. Before you were born, I set you apart. I appointed you as a prophet to the nations. Our God's sovereign over our circumstances, and our God has plans to use us, to prosper us. God has plans for our ministries that we didn't plan on. None of us saw this coming. But God's going to bless you even as a result of this. He's going to use even this in your life. So many blessings to you wherever God directs you. I'll be praying for you as you undertake whatever call or responsibility you do. God bless. Hi, Clouds of 2020. Grant and Wendy Lamarcon here. Here's the thing, uh, we're really old people and we really suck at this technology thing. So this is take number eight or 10 or 12 or something, but we wouldn't do this if we didn't love you. So congratulations. Congratulations class of 2020. You know, it's my prayer that the God of hope would fill you with all joy and peace and believing, that by the power of the Holy Spirit, you would abound in hope. Our prayers go with you as you walk with him into the challenges and the joys that he has in store for you. God bless you. We're proud of you. Have Wendy got through that laughing? <laughs> Class of 2020, um, since we can't celebrate in person, there are just a couple of things I'd like to say to you all. First of all, um, just a reminder that God's got you. This situation might be a surprise to us. It's not a surprise to God. And, um, He's got you. He's been preparing you for this time. And the second thing I would like to say is that you have got God. The one who started a good work um, will keep working it out in you. Um, and we, as the faculty at Trinity, look forward with um, great anticipation and expectation of the things that, that he's going to do in and through you at this time. We miss you, we love you, and again, we look forward to hearing about what God is going to be doing in you. Bye. Hey there, Class of 2020, Jack here, just giving you a shout out in celebration of your accomplishments. I have a particular affinity with this class because you may recall that I came on campus in 2017, the same year that many of you did, I coming to faculty you for classes, and I feel like we've shared a moment the Lord has done so much. And particularly, I have grown in such hope as I've watched what the Lord has done among you and through you. It gives me great hope for the church and for the world of what he's going to do when you go forth. It makes me think of St. Paul when he spoke to the Thessalonian church saying, Though we're torn apart, I can't wait to return. For what is my hope, my joy, my crown of boasting before the Lord when he returns? Is it not you? You are our hope and our joy. So I put together a little installation that even amidst all the pain and disappointment and suffering, so that we can think about keeping the main thing, the main thing. Can you imagine the disappointment and pain the apostles and disciples felt going through the crucifixion and then the amazing joy when they got to find an empty tomb, rearranged everything. So as you go forth, all I can say is, the sufferings of the present moment are nothing compared to the glory that will be revealed. So keep the faith, fight the good fight, and then come back and we'll have a cup of tea and celebrate. Love you guys, seriously. Oh God, son, herald, who will never falter, who dare to walk where Christ has set his feet. Who know the church as beacon and as altar, where human need and your abundance meet. 
Greetings, Class of 2020, and blessings to you all. We are all so thankful for the time that you have spent with us at Trinity and the NALS, and we pray every blessing as you go out now to continue to be heralds of God's word, of God's goodness, of God's eternal love. Well, hello, class of 2020. I know what you were expecting. You thought this was gonna be a semester in which you would hear professors give brilliant lectures standing in front of crowded classrooms. You would go to chapel and you would hear inspiring sermons. And at the end of the semester, there was gonna be a celebration and a parade. And the faculty were gonna wear robes and funny hats. And you were gonna wear robes and funny hats. And there would be speeches. And at the end of the speeches, you were going to receive your diploma. Things didn't quite turn out that way. Instead, you got this. So class of 2020, things did not exactly turn out as we had expected. But I think perhaps your time at Trinity has actually been preparing you for this moment. In the next few months, people are going to sort out what is and isn't important. Life and death are important. Community is important. Time will come when things will return to normal. When that happens, the world will need to hear the message of the gospel, of a God who has faced death and defeated it in the cross and resurrection of Jesus Christ. People are going to be hungry for community. And the church is a community that follows Jesus, that has something to say about life and death. You'll have a message to share with that culture. So congratulations, class of 2020. You stuck it out. You graduated. I consider it an honor to have been your teacher, and have had you as my students. Keep in touch. Remember, we're not just students and teachers, we're friends. Congratulations to the Trinity School for Ministry graduating class of 2020. I can honestly say that you are my favorite graduating class of this decade. But in all sincerity, I'm sorry not to be able to celebrate with you in person. It's been a great joy and privilege to teach many of you. And I pray for all of you that you would have a strong sense of the Lord going before you and making his face to shine upon you as you leave this place. Be strong and courageous. The Lord goes before you. Please do stay in touch. Please let us know what you're doing and please do come back and visit us. Go Kneelers. God bless you all. Take care now. Bye-bye. Congratulations, class of 2020, Trinity School for Ministry. I am very proud of you, and it's a joy for me and Carl Bark and Coho the dog to be here congratulating you here on my front porch in Ambridge. I'm so excited for each of you, uh, but I'm even more excited for God's church, which is going to be blessed by the ministry that you all will bring to it. I would just encourage you, as I hope I've always done in class, to keep your focus on Jesus, uh, keep the gospel the main thing in your life and in your ministry. Um, it's going to be sad to see you all leave, but uh, I'm just so thrilled for what you will bring to the church and the way you will minister to others. So let me say once again, congratulations. I'm so proud of you. Hi, I'm Eric Reason. I'm the president of the North American Lutheran Seminary centered at Trinity School for Ministry. Yesterday I planted this tree and the success of this tree depends upon the roots. And if the roots go deep and draw nourishment from the soil and the water, it will grow. You've been given um, some fertile soil upon which to grow in your theological education and your formation. So grow deep, bear fruit, God bless you, and congratulations. It's great to be a part of Trinity School for Ministry. Dear graduates, this is my horse, Bo, and I hope you accept this video as a small token of your faculty's love and care for you. We're very proud of you, and we look forward to hearing great things about what the Lord will do in and through you in the future. We don't get to choose the times in which we live, and these are turbulent, anxious times. And I'd like to leave you with a passage of scripture from Lamentations chapter three, written during a troubling, uncertain time, the fall of Jerusalem and the destruction of the temple. And in the midst of the poignant lament known as the book of Lamentations, we read these words. But this I call to mind, therefore I have hope. 
The steadfast love of the Lord never ceases. His mercies never come to an end. They are new every morning. Great is thy faithfulness. Now, friends, uh, a prayer from the Book of Common Prayer and a blessing. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. With your spirit. Let us pray. O oh God, our Heavenly Father, you manifested your love by sending your only begotten Son into the world that all might live through him. Put out your spirit on your church, on Trinity School for Ministry, and especially on the graduates of 2020, that together we may fulfill his command to preach the gospel to all people, send forth laborers into your harvest, defend them in all dangers and temptations, and hasten the time when the fullness of the Gentiles shall be gathered in and faithful Israel shall be saved. Through Jesus Christ, your Son, our Lord. Amen. Be watchful, stand firm in your faith, be courageous, be strong. Let everything you do be done in love. The blessing of God Almighty, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit be upon you and remain with you forever. Amen. God bless all y'all. Bless everybody. God bless. Yes. Go with our prayers. Blessings. Blessings. Congratulations, everyone. Congratulations. Thank you so much. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you very much.